So I thought we'd make a bookmark, which is a nice project to start off. It's very quick to print. We're just going to drag a box in and resize it to somewhere around 100 by, oh, let's make it, let's make it 20. That's fine. And we're going to make it just one millimeter thick. And we're going to put two little holes in that, little slits. We'll make these maybe 80 by uh, two millimeters wide, give or take. Doesn't really matter how tall it is, but let's make it three just to make it easier to work with. And I'm going to duplicate this. Now there's two slits here. I can move them with my arrow keys and pull them onto the bookmark and I could just group these guys and cut those out. Uh, one problem with that though is I want to make sure these guys are evenly spaced. So my favorite way to do that is to group these two together beforehand and then I can use the align tool and make sure they're centered and also I can make sure they're flush on this edge. And now I've got these, I can group them together and boom, bookmark. That's not super interesting. Let's try a couple little tricks. I'd like to round these edges. And one way you can do that is to make a little tool that'll cut the edges off. So I'm gonna make a box, let's see, this is 20. Let's make the box about half that size. Make it 10 by 10. And I don't have to worry about the height because I'm gonna cut those out anyway. And I've got a cylinder. And the first thing I wanna do is even out the sides of the cylinder. See how rough that looks? If I move this number of sides up, that's a much rounder and prettier uh, picture there. And this cylinder is by fault 20 by 20, looks good. Now I'm going to align these two, not to the center, but to the outside edge. Like this. And when I group these, I've got a great little tool, let's make that into a hole, that I can use to cut a corner off. So there's one. Let me duplicate this guy, and then I'll use the flip tool, the mirror tool. And now I can flip this guy to the other side. And that looks pretty good. I could probably just uh, cut there, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the align tool and cut these one at a time. All right, that's aligned that way and that way, so I can group these. And the same with the other side. And that is aligned. I could have just cut it, group these. That looks so much better, but we can do a little more still. Let me put my initial on this. And I'll just resize that. Remember, if I hold down shift while I'm resizing, it'll keep the proportions good. And right now, this is something I see a lot. A lot of people would just put that on. If you look from the side, though, that is really, really tall. So we're going to cut this down to, let's see, the bookmark is one millimeter. We'll just make this two millimeters, just enough to stick up and be seen a little bit. And I'm going to change the color of the text just so I can see it better on the screen. Now that's not going to change how it prints, of course. It's going to print in whatever color is loaded on the printer. Let's align that. And maybe I can just nudge that up. For little nudges like that, I like to use my keyboard rather than using the mouse. And I'll group it all together. And now I can export that and send it on for printing. It's quick and easy, and these things don't take very long to print. So it's a really nice uh, project to practice your alignment and uh, practice cutting the edges off and things like that. Well, that's it for the bookmark. Thanks a lot.